Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to talk about the cost function. Now the cost function says c of x equals a of x plus b and what that's telling you is that c of x equals a is the cost to produce an item. It's not the price that the consumer is paying. It's how much materials and electricity and all that stuff is costing the company. X is the number of items you make and B is the fixed cost um, which isn't affected by how many you make. It's something like for example leasing a space in which to do your manufacturing. So I'm going to do an example. It costs $3,600 to produce 1,000 hockey sticks and $6,000 to produce 1,800 hockey sticks. What is the cost function? And the way you go about doing this, I always think, equate C of X equals AX plus B to Y equals MX plus B. So if you have uh, maybe two points, which we do have, this constitutes a point, and this is a point, the first thing I want to do to solve y equals mx plus b is find the slope. So the slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I think I'm going to draw this as a point uh, just to make it clear what I'm doing. So one point, you always want to go the number of things you're making represents what would be your x and then how much it costs the manufacturer to make that item is your Y. So I'm going to have two of these. So in the first one, to make a thousand hockey sticks, so the number is a thousand, the cost is thirty six hundred dollars. And then in the second one, to make 1,800 hockey sticks, the cost is $6,000. So this is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is like saying it's the cost over the number of items made. So I'm going to take the largest cost and subtract it from the smallest cost. So this makes this y2 and x2. So 6,000 minus 3,600 over this is x2 automatically if this is y2. 1,800 minus 1,000 and when you do that you should get 3. So our slope is 3. So now I'm going to use the point slope form to figure out what's going on here so that I can find the cost function by rearranging it. So I already know my slope is 3, so I'm going to go x2 minus, if x1 is 1,000, this isn't x2, this is just x, equals y minus 3,600. 